What's up, everybody? It's Titanic Fee Jack. I'm back at you today. Before we get into today's video, need a couple things. Hit that like button, leave a comment on today's video, and also hit those notification bells so you'll be notified every time I upload a video onto this channel. And if you haven't already, sub up to the channel. We only a handful of subs away from 1400, so I ask that you guys handle business and you know keep this channel growing. And if you haven't already and you're interested, the Family Vibes Discord group, it's a great Discord group that helps me obtain a lot of these kicks I get and keeps me abreast on any new information or breaking news. That link is down in the description box. Now today we're taking a look at a shoe, orange Nike box. It's some nostalgia behind the sneaker. This sneaker was first debuted by a Nike athlete back in 1996 at the All-Star Game, the NBA All-Star Game, which was conducted in San Antonio, Texas. Also, another sneaker that debuted was the uh, Legend Blue Jordan 11s. Y'all seen the box, y'all saw the label. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It says Air Max Penny, color black, metallic silver, US size 15, and the retail price was 170. I did hit these on the sneakers app. You can see that last stamp right there. Also, white tissue paper. Smooth on one side, a little rough on the other. No YCM sticker in the box. Without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Max Penny 1, the All-Star Edition. It's a majority black sneaker. Yes, Penny Hardaway debuted these in 1996 at the All-Star Game. And they were first made available for retail for us back in 2014. I did not get those in 2014, so I got them in 2022. Uh, sizing, me personally, I had to size up. They were small on my feet. So I went up to the next uh, available size. Not sure how you guys like your shoes, but I don't like my shoes to fit exact. So I need at least a little bit of room. About well, this much room in you know, them. And I'll be good. So that's why I sized up. So let's get into the review of the sneaker. We have an all black sneaker. This new buck all on your upper. Got your uh, your royal blue piping going on here as well, and you got your gel swoosh going on. Close to look at that gel swoosh, and it's a little different from the uh, the Orlando pair because the Orlando pair the white right here, but this is black. It's all blacked out. You got your black uh, on your midsole going around your air housing, and you got that. That royal blue, that Orlando magic color inside the bubble. This is the outsole, black outsole, and that white Nike suit stands out. You also have your little unit, your air system here with the uh, navy inside. You got your pull tab right here on the back, and you have Penny's logo, the one cent logo on the back. Looking at the medial side of the sneaker, more of that black new buck on the upper of the sneaker, more of that blue piping, that royal blue piping, and you have your black rubber going on right here, which is connected to the midsole. And we look at the toe, excuse me, look at the toe box. You can see you got your gel bubble right here, Nike sushi in there. You got your black rope laces and you got the uh, cotton tongue, which is like a gray color, the stripes, and you got uh, an embroidered patch on here, black new buck with uh, the Nike swoosh is white with the royal blue trimming and a pull tab up top. Uh, it comes stuffed with tissue. There you go. Got the tissue it comes stuffed with. And we do have a, a sizing patch going on right here. Here you go. Can you guys see that? Gonna read it. Uh, US size 15, 
and the production date is April 12th of this year to 4th of July of this year so just under three months of production with these give you guys a look at the uh, insert insert appears to be raw your blue like the Orlando magic colors and you can see that Nike Air branding in here in the white so I have giving you guys videos on all three pairs which uh pair is your favorite in the uh penny air max one all stones uh personally i have not sure if i'm gonna uh wear these i did get them off nostalgia i wish i could wear them to work but i decide what i'm gonna do with them but i have worn the orlando pair a couple of times but this is the air max one penny all-star debuted in 96 was released to us for the first time in 2014 and that concludes the video and like i always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker i'm titanic feet jack signing out